Hello folks. So many of you have been asking me how do you set the E-steps on the FL Sun V400. So I'm going to take you step by step on how to do that. One of the first things we have to do is heat up the nozzle. So we're going to do that by going to the pad, temperature, and just use PLA. That'll be fine. We'll let that heat up. So while that's heating, let me just tell you that there's gonna be a couple of steps to this process. One is we're gonna measure a hundred millimeters of filament as it's going through the nozzle. And then we're gonna do some calculations on a program that I found in the computer. So I will put that link in the bottom of the YouTube video. All right, so after the nozzle is heated, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark off 110 millimeters of filament from the entry point. So we're gonna put the scale up here. Again, you wanna get as close as you can, 110 millimeters. The reason I'm using 110 millimeters in case it's over extruding and the filament goes all the way back into the, uh, the te Teflon tube then we won't be able to measure it. So by doing that, we're only gonna extrude 100, so that should leave some amount up further so that we can measure it. So we have the mark on the filament, 110 millimeters. So now we're gonna feed that in 100 millimeters. So we'll go to the pad. Distance I chose is 25. And I'm gonna put it at a speed of five because I don't want it to go too fast. And so now I'm gonna say extrude. So now you can see 25 millimeters is coming out. You can see this thing moving. We'll do it again. Again, and we're gonna hit 100. And one more time, that'll be a hundred. And you can see where the little line is ending up. It's pretty far away from the mark, but don't forget, we have 10 millimeters extra. So let's measure what this is. So let's measure the remainder. So we extruded a hundred millimeters, so we should have 10 millimeters remaining. Let's see what we got. Look at that, perfectly 10 millimeters. All right, so I don't have to make any changes and I'm sure most of you won't, but if we do, I'm gonna show you what, how to do it. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video, uh, the, the YouTube video, and I'll show you how to actually make the changes. Next, go to your browser type in the IP address that's connected directly to your speeder pad and you'll come up with this screen here or something similar. Next go to machine, click on printer config and here you're gonna scroll down till you see extruder right in this area here. This is the information we're gonna need in the next few minutes. Then click on the link provided at the end of the YouTube video. That'll bring you to this page. This is where all the magic happens. So here, type intended length. So our intention is to extrude 100 millimeters. So we'll put 100 in there. Here is what did we actually measure? Well. Remember that we have an extra 10 millimeters just so that we don't lose it inside the PTFE tubing. So let's say we measured 113. Take away the 10, so it's actually 103. And here 
is where you go back to the printer config. And they want to know the rotation distance. And right now on the V400, it's 4.5, as you can see here. Go back to here, type in 4.5, and then calculate. So here's your new number, 4.635. This would be for under extruding. Don't forget, we ended up with 103 millimeters left. We're supposed to have 100, so we did not extrude enough. So I, I'm sure you know how to figure that out. So this is how you get your new rotation distance number is using this program here. So now remembering the number we just got, the revised number we just got in that app regarding rotation distance, this is where we're gonna change it. So here it says 4.5, just gonna click in there, change that to 4.635, that's the new number. Then save and restart. And then from that point forward, this is the number that will be used by your extruder. Please keep in mind that you're gonna to wanna to do this process two or three times. So extrude it, measure it, extrude it, measure it two or three times to make sure you get the perfect average to put in here. This is the number that you wanna get a very good average for. Then you do the calculation and then you do the change that we talked about previously. But you really wanna do this process two or three times for its best accuracy. So that's it. That's exactly how you measure the E steps and then convert to rotation distance for a clipper. All right, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment area. And again, I wanna thank my daughter Kylie for being the videographer and having so many patients in helping me videotape all these sessions. <laughs>